I am Adil Kumar sharing with you an application question on antiderivatives. We will discuss marginal cost in this example. A company estimates that the marginal cost in dollars per item of producing X items is 1.92 minus 0.002x. If the cost of producing one item is $562, find the cost of producing 100 items. Now, marginal cost is rate of change of cost with respect to the number of items produced, which we could write as C prime x is equals to the given function, which is 1.92 minus 0.002x. That's the marginal cost. We are also given cost of producing one item, that is to say C of 1 is equals to 562. And what we need to find is cost of producing 100 items. We need to find C of 100. This is what we need to find. Now, to find the cost function from marginal cost, we can integrate both sides, right? So, so, we could get integration of this equals to integration of 1.92 minus 0.002x dx. Now, now, the integration of the derivative is the function itself. So, we get c of x is equals to, here, that is a constant term. So, we get x here, 1.92x x we should get x squared divided by 2 so we get 0 0.002 times half x squared plus c now to find the value of c we can use the initial condition c of 1 is 562 now let me simplify this a bit just dividing this by 2 so we get 1.92 x minus 0 0.001 x squared plus c is is the cost function right so that is the cost function so we started with marginal cost that is marginal cost and now we've got the cost after integrating the same to find the value of c what we should do we'll substitute c of 1 as 562 right so so we know cost of one item is actually equals to 562. So we'll substitute one here. We get 1.92 minus 0 0.001 plus C. And this is equal to 562, right? This is equals to 562. Now from here, we can definitely find what C is, right? So C is 562 minus 1.92 plus 0 0.001 and that is equal to we can use the calculator right so we have 562 take away 1.92 uh, plus 0 0.001 that gives us 560.081 560.081 560 so that is the value of c so we have the function here which is c of x as equals to 1.92 x minus 0.001 x square plus 560.081 correct so that becomes the cost function for us right now from this cost function we can definitely find the cost of 100 items right so we have our cost function so we can use this cost function to find the cost for 100 items so let me rewrite this here so cost of 100 will be we'll substitute 100 here so we get c of 100 is equal to 1.92 1.92 times 100 minus 0 0.001 times 100 square right plus 
560.081 and we can calculate this value using the calculator right so what we have here is 1.92 times 100 minus 0 0.001 uh, within bracket or we can say times 100 square and then we have plus 560.081 and that is equal to the answer which is 742.081 right so cost of producing 100 items is so we see of 100 is equals to you can say approximately in dollars 742 so that is how you can actually solve such a question i hope that makes sense you can always share and subscribe to my videos feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.